Let's have a quick look at uh, visibility filters. Uh, in this specific example, I would like to visualize this model in two different uh, aspects. Uh, one, uh, when I filter out a few things uh, from the buildings and I don't want to see them. And in the other case, I will filter out uh, the surrounding buildings. And for this, I will use two 3D views. Now, starting with this first 3D view, I'm going to the view menu and I click on isolate and I will find an option called filter. So the rule-based filters work this way. You select the discipline. Uh, in this case, this will be architectural items. And then uh, this is a very simple example. So I'm just saying that I would like to see only the walls, only the slabs, the columns, the beams, and perhaps the roofs. And once I click here, and I'm telling the software that all elements that match this, prop, uh, this criteria uh, should be visible. So should be equal uh, to the visibility. Uh, in that case, when I hit OK, then the software will make all the rest of the model uh, disappear and uh, make only those items visible, which I have selected based on the rules that I have defined just before. Now let's see how this works in another 3D view. So I'm clicking on uh, another add 3D view. Just let me just organize my drawing. So now you can see that I have one 3D view and a 2D view, so I'm adding another one. So into this 3D view, the software when uh, visualizes the model, it is unfiltered, so I can see everything that I have created before. But here, uh, view dependent, I can select and I can set up a different uh, rule uh, if I would like to. So I can go again to isolate and click on filter. And now either I can click on this one and use this filter that I've used before, or I can create a completely new one. And this time I will also name it. I will just say, okay, this is the one that is called uh, without uh, surrounding, surrounding buildings or something, uh, buildings. And then uh, when I, once I name that, uh, I can click here and I can say that, for example, here, I would like to create a negative, uh, uh, effect and have a negative visibility effect. I would like to make things disappear uh, from the model. So I'm clicking here and I would like to say that all building volumes uh, that are in this uh, view should not be uh, visible. So this is what happens now. So when I'm clicking, clicking OK, and the software makes those items disappear and none of the rest are invisible. All the rest is here just as I expected. So now there is also uh, the need to be able to check what filters I have on the model. So if I would like to check what I used here, I can just click here and click on isolate, um, opening the filter dialog and I can see that this is enabled. I can even rename it. Let me just click here and I say that, for example, this should be the simple building named, named simple building or so and I click OK. So that's fine. I'm actually using that filter already here. And if I click here uh, and I just uh, open up this filter dialog again, I can see that here the without surrounding buildings is enabled. I can also switch to the other filter or if I would like to, I can also remove the filters that I have here. And for that, I have a very simple option. If I click on the header of this 3D view and I select the clear filter, now the software visualizes the model unfiltered as it was created originally.